is the Thunder Buggy. It was created uh, sort of by accident. Um, here at the Holmes County Fair a year ago, uh, Mike and I were watching the truck and tractor pull, and I mentioned to him that I wanted to build a four-wheel drive pulling truck with a turbine engine in it. And uh, I went home that night, found an engine on eBay, yes, bought it, yes, and it ended up being a turbo jet engine. So we had to find a lightweight vehicle to put our uh, engine in, and the buggy seemed to fit the bill. We modified the suspension. We put a steel subframe under the rear end. Uh, we changed the front suspension into airbags. Uh, it has a lot of wood. Uh, the only steel that we added was the, the rear suspension and then all the aluminum trim you see. Uh, but everything else is stock buggy. Except for the steering wheel. Of yeah, course. except for the steering wheel and the, and the jet engine behind me. We tried to keep the buggy as traditional as possible. Uh, because, you know, once you start taking the buggy and modifying it, to the point it's not really a buggy anymore, it kind of you kind of lose that draw, you know. It's not really an Amish buggy anymore. There's a lot of times we go, oh, we'd like to do this, we'd like to do that, then we decided, well, it's not within the, the model we wanted, which was a, as true traditional Amish buggy as we could get. Um, we have plans for other things, but uh, right now... We've got phase two and three in our heads. We're just working on the blueprints now, and, and uh, we've got a couple bigger engines that uh, will we'll be built for speed. Uh, Mike's been with me from day one. Uh, well, he, I still remember when he called me up, we were talking about building this four-wheel drive vehicle, and um, all of a sudden he goes, well, we're not going to put in a four-wheel drive truck anymore. We're going to put in an Amish buggy. My first reaction was, all right, I guess that's all, that sounds like a fine idea. And I uh, kind of went from there, we tore the engine down, rebuilt it, powder coated it, um, got the buggy, started working on it in the spring, night, and things got real serious about a month and a half ago when we decided to come out to the Holmes County Fair for the first time. And we spent a lot of late nights working on it, a lot of hours in the last couple months uh, putting it together to bring it up. We faced a lot of challenges uh, with different components failing, but we got it together and here we are. We've, we've had it up here today running on the track for the first time, uh, up and down. We've had it on a smooth surface. Uh, we've had it up to 55 miles an hour so far. Um, it's obviously capable of more than that, but you know, you got to figure in your stop stopping distance as well. It's not made for speed, high speeds. It was built for just because. It's something so unique. Um, it's like oil and water, you know, a jet engine and an omnibus. Yes, it doesn't make sense, but here it is. A bit of a ridiculous idea we took seriously. Yeah. So. All right, temperature. Sure. Over here. Okay. And we'll spool it up. Check for leaks as I'm spooling. And uh, if ever you guys give me a thumbs up at 12%, I'll throw the fuel. Sounds good. And we're gonna go down. Do a U-turn, come back up the other side of the track, and just make this do a loop. Uh, I turn into a rolling fireball.
a challenge. The track was obviously very rough. Yeah. But uh, like I said, we didn't design this to run on dirt. It was designed for hard surface. But I think I, I couldn't hear what the people were saying, but it seemed like they were enjoying it. Very good. Some of the issues we've been having all didn't show up or disappeared. So we felt pretty good. We ran well. Um, 262 and yeah, was better. We were on a hard surface. Better than that. Pretty good. Just want to thank everybody that's helped us uh, with the build. Um, it's just been a, it's been a fun project, and hopefully we have many more years to 